Welcome to video 6.2. In this video, we will demonstrate how to start a project by setting up the header region for the main distribution panel board worksheet. First, open your project work file for the project you are starting. The project work file will open to the configure worksheet. The configure worksheet is a mini instruction sheet which allows you to become familiar with PowerCalc Pack's many features and functions. In order to fully utilize PowerCalc Pack, we recommend that you become familiar with the Configure Worksheet. Second, click on the worksheet labeled MDP. Now, go to the header region of the MDP worksheet to set up the enclosure. Place the cursor on cell A2 and press Tab to go to the Energy Reduction and Savings Electricity module Erase and follow PowerCalc Pack's prompts in the pop-up window. The note in the pop-up window provides information about the Erase module and requests information. For this demonstration, leave the erase load at 100%, which is the default value. Next, press tab to feeder length and input the total length of the feeder. Now, press tab to go to transformer. Leave this field in auto at the beginning of the design process. When set on auto, PowerCalc Pack will auto-calc the transformer for you. Tab to mount for mounting method and select from the drop-down menu. If your mounting method is not in the drop-down menu, you can go to the eNode worksheet and type in the mounting method at the user interface fields. Tab to AIC method and select from the drop-down menu. If your AIC method is not in the drop-down menu, you can go to the eNode worksheet and type in the AIC method at the user interface fields. Tab to AIC value and select from the drop-down menu. Tab to frequency and select from the drop-down menu. If your frequency is not in the drop-down menu, you can go to the eNode worksheet and type in the frequency at the user interface fields. Tab to Service Entrance Rated and select from the drop-down menu. For this demonstration, Yes is selected. Tab to Phase and select from the drop-down menu. For this demonstration, 3 is selected for 3-phase power system. Tab to Voltage and select from the drop-down menu. If your voltage is not in the drop-down menu, you can go to the eNode worksheet and type in the voltage at the user interface fields. For this demonstration, 480 volts is selected. Tab to Neutral and select from the drop-down menu. For this demonstration, 100% rated neutral conductor is selected. Tab to Voltage Drop and select from the drop-down menu. For this demonstration, Auto is selected, which is the default of 2% for feeders and 3% for branch circuits. When Auto is selected, all related fields are automatically calculated by PowerCalc Pack. Tab to Frame Amp and select from the drop-down menu. For this demonstration, Auto is selected. Tab to Main Amp and select from the drop-down menu. For this demonstration, Auto is selected. Now, scroll to the right to view the remaining fields in the header region of the MDP worksheet. Tab to Mains Type and select from the drop-down menu. For this demonstration, Main Circuit Breaker, or MCB, is selected. Tab to Sets and select from the drop-down menu. For this demonstration, Auto is selected. Tab to Wires Number and select from the drop-down menu. For this demonstration, Auto is selected. Tab to Conductor Size and select from the drop-down menu. For this demonstration, Auto is selected. Tab to Ground Conductor Size and select from the drop-down menu. For this demonstration, Auto is selected. Tab to Conduit Size and select from the drop-down menu. For this demonstration, Auto is selected. Tab to Ambient Temp and select from the drop-down menu. For this demonstration, Auto is selected. Tab to Material and select from the drop-down menu. For this demonstration, Copper or CU is selected. Tab to Breaker option and select from the drop-down menu. If your breaker option is not in the drop-down menu, you can go to the eNode worksheet and type in the breaker option at the user interface fields. Tab to NEMA designation and select from the drop-down menu. If your NEMA designation is not in the drop-down menu, you can go to the eNode worksheet and type in the NEMA designation at the user interface fields. Tab to Isolated Ground and select from the drop-down menu. For this demonstration, Yes is selected. 
tap the Transient Voltage Suppression System, or TVSS, and select from the drop-down menu. For this demonstration, Yes is selected. Last, tap the number of poles, which automatically defaults to Auto. We have now completed the setup for the header region of the main distribution panel board worksheet. The fields in the header region of the MDP worksheet default to auto as PowerCalcPack calculates the proper values for these fields based on the three inputs, load KVA, load type, and circuit breaker number of poles for each branch circuit. These three values are input in the branch circuit panel board worksheets. When auto is selected, all related fields are auto calc using information from PowerCalcPack's proprietary database. For your information, here are a few tips for using PowerCalc Pack. An abbreviation table is located at the lower right corner of each of PowerCalc Pack's worksheets. The user can click on the field or press tab, and PowerCalc Pack will guide you through the design process. Also, during the design process, the report worksheet will automatically be generated for import of your design into AutoCAD. PowerCalc Pack uses a bottom up design approach from the branch circuit to the main distribution panel board. All information is automatically populated using universal information propagation, and changes are automatically calculated to update your design. The process outlined to set up the main distribution panel board worksheet in this video 6.2 will be followed to set up the header region for the distribution panel board worksheets and the branch circuit panel board worksheets in our next videos. The cells in the header region can be set or reset for all of the worksheets by the user with selections other than auto. In fact, all fields can be reset whenever the user wants the design to be automatically calculated or recalculated for any changes. Note that when the cells are set other than on auto, the text will be in red. For further information about the main distribution panel board worksheet, Please refer to the user manual downloaded with PowerCalc Pack and the description provided at PowerCalcPack.com. PowerCalc Pack, your commitment to engineering excellence. This ends video 6.2. Want to know more about how to use PowerCalc Pack? View our complete library of demonstration videos.